Hey guys, this is a market update. A new bull run has started. And so let's go through that. We're gonna look at some on-chain data right here as well and some cycle data to show exactly what's gonna be happening over the next six, 12, 18 months for the Bitcoin cycle. So we're gonna to get to Bitcoin uh, price first. What we can see here is actually really bullish price action. It shows that there are a lot of buyers in the market right now. We had a huge breakout, right, of the massive, massive resistance. What I was saying is that this breakout right here has confirmed the start of the new bull market. And that doesn't mean we go up only on the price. You can have massive drawdowns, 20, 30%, something like that. There's gonna be some scares as well as news comes out. We all know that, but we need to invest in the cycle and the cycle is starting again. The bull run is starting in my opinion. So according to the Bitcoin price here, that breakthrough, you expect to pull back when you have such a big breakthrough, but we haven't had one yet, right? We had this tiny candle here and essentially this was printing another bull flag or a continuation pattern, which is this, you know, with the price coming down. Now in an uptrend, you expect that to break to the upside and it has. Now it hasn't broken a lot. It's not like a big move up to 40K. I think people are still trying to work out, hey, it, should I wait or what should I do? But as we can see, the price action, if we just get rid of the upper bound here, you can see that the price action on the lower side, right, is still to the upside. So what you're seeing, what this is, is buyers coming in and just saying, I need to buy this, I need to buy this, just pushing the price up and up and up. So even these drawdowns as they come are higher lows. Now this is on the four hour time frame, so higher lows, right? Buyers are in the market right now. Buyers are saying, okay, I have to get in right now. Now this may stop, 10% drawdown is, is very easy. What we really wanna see is any drawdowns if they come, right, where do they come? As long as they come above this 31 level, then they turn the resistance into support and that's obviously good technically. For here though, you really need to look at the cycle and where we are because worrying about price now, like a few thousand here and there is really not what we should be focusing on. There are gonna be scares. There are always full starts in a Bitcoin cycle, but this is the halving cycle that we're going into now. So I'm gonna get onto that. If you are a trader, check the deposit bonus to buy a bit down below. If you make a deposit and trading get up to 30K, not available in every country, just check uh, the links down below and the information down below. You can see if it's available for you. The rotation is starting to happen. We've all seen this. If you look at on-chain data, you can see the bear market slowly turning into the bull market, but this was the confirmation for the public. People who don't look at on-chain, people are like, oh, is Bitcoin still around? This 30K level, this price action breaking through it is the confirmation that the public needs to say, hey, this thing isn't going away. This 30 is the breakthrough that we needed to push it back into public attention. And so the cycle is, is going just like before, and I'll show you this right now. I'm gonna make some updates to the crypto course towards the end of this year as well. 300 plus videos now. Uh, if you're in the course, you're gonna get those for free. If you don't have it yet, check the link below. You can see uh, the crypto course there. All my research is free forever in there once you have the course. Capital rotation, okay? So the bear market ha was here and we had that drawdown. Red is speculators, okay? So the capital rotation to short-term holders and speculators that come in, they're the ones that are gonna drive up the price. The ones that have been on the sidelines saying, nah, not too sure. That breakthrough of 30K is the push that they need. It's the FOMO that they need to say, whoa, 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 okay, we need to get some of this, right? You have the ETF, you have the halving. It's the same cycle over and over again, including the macro cycle, which is turning right now. And that 30K was the breakthrough to say, hey, the macro cycle has changed, the Bitcoin cycle has changed, now is the time. And so we're gonna see more of that over time with volatility, of course. Red short-term holders, they come in. New buyers, they push the price up. Who are gonna be new buyers in the next cycle? Tr TradFi, through the ETF, and other methods of getting involved, right? They're all coming. That is the new money for this cycle. New money pushes the price up. They need to get an allocation. That is what pushes up in, into a new bull market. Short-termers or people who are just buying, they push the price up, incentivizing long-term holders to sell. If you push the price up to over 100K, maybe you can have some of my Bitcoin, but I'll make the decision back then, right? I'm not gonna be selling now at 30, not high enough for me. So if you want, if you want my Bitcoin, you're gonna to have to push the price up because it's a scarce asset and I'm not selling anywhere near these prices, right? Same for other people who are invested in Bitcoin and some other cryptos, right? So new holders coming in, pushing the price up, that's the bull cycle. 
Now, the bear market is when older investors or hodlers say, hey, I'm just going to start accumulating here. That's blue. Then the bull market, short term again, pushing the price up, trying to get the Bitcoin that long term holders have away from them. You can see that here through the bear market. We had that again. You can see that is now coming down. That is capital rotation as new entrants come in and want Bitcoin and have to force the price up. There are more buyers than sellers as the macro cycle change changes as we come into the halving, right? So we're seeing that we're nowhere near the top of a bull market yet. I will tell you when that's happening with the on-chain data, but you can see the capital rotation starting to happen. I don't trade the Bitcoin price. I want to invest in Bitcoin itself as a network. And here's the data why I want to do that. This is MVRVZ. This essentially shows us when the Bitcoin price is overdone in a very big bull market or a very big bear market. As the ratio peaks, that's when Bitcoin price is very, very high in comparison to where it's been. And so when the orange line peaks above this red level, this red zone, that's a massive bull market. You're seeing a huge price appreciation in BTC. That going above the red zone or the red line here has called essentially the peak of every bull market. So if you're looking at this and saying, should I sell now? Should I buy now? Because we're not at 15 anymore. Well, you can see we're definitely not in those absolute peak bear market levels anymore. We're certainly nowhere near a bull market. See the previous bull market up here, we peaked up into the red previous bull market. Now you can see that these peaks are actually getting lower. And so in the next bull market, we might actually not even get to this peak, but you can see we're nowhere near that right now, nowhere near. So you're still at the very early stages of a bull market. In my opinion, that 30K breakthrough is, but you know, we're climbing out just like every other cycle. You can see in this cycle, we had a massive fade from that as well. So we had a huge rise and then a fade down. Could happen in this one as well, right? There are many things we don't know, but taking cycles into account, if you're investing over, you know, two years or you're waiting for that, you know, we're still towards this end of the cycle. We're nowhere near peak yet, right? So we're still lining up that very well. Now, what I'm really invested in, right, is not the price of something that works itself out if the fundamentals are good. Bitcoin is starting to pick up again. It's this is new address momentum. You know, we're adding around 500,000 addresses on a monthly basis. This is huge, right? So five, now that's not 500,000 people because, you know, addresses are created all the time. But we're seeing this at levels now, which are around the same as the previous bull market. So you have bull market here, you have the address momentum slowing down as everyone kind of comes out, they don't really do much, right? Activity drops. We're seeing that peak again. That's very, very good for this part of the cycle. So we're not even in the bull market peak right now, that frenzy phase, and we're, we're seeing this growth. So that shows us that fundamentally human beings are coming to this network. There's more activity on this network. Bitcoin price cannot go up without genuine usage, right? And so that's what we have, and that's what I'm invested in. This chart is insane as well. Take away the price, just look at the network growth. This is what you're invested in. This is why at 15, 17K, I don't care about that price. In fact, that's a massive opportunity because the price is low, but the growth is high. That is when to invest. And so we're seeing active addresses Absolutely, like this is just up and to the right, right? If the price was doing this, you'd be like, wow, this is crazy. The price is doing this because active addresses and users are flocking to the network, right? So active address is very high, huge fundamental growth of humans coming to use this network. New addresses high, transaction count high, and we're not in a bull market yet. So what we're seeing is just fundamental growth of a network. What do you want to invest in? More users over time. The price will take care of itself over cycles if you have a long term view when you know more human beings are doing more activity on this network. Bitcoin has started its new bull market, in my opinion. But the one main worry that people have is what's the extent of the slowdown in growth? China is easing their economy in a big way. Europe's done, right? Recession there pretty much. And they don't want to raise rates anymore. So now we're looking at the states, which everyone's going to go off. If the mild recession comes, it's fine. If it's big and there's some sort of financial catastrophe, that's obviously bad. That's going to draw down markets a lot. We can't predict that, though. So what you have to look at is just simply, you know, the cycles and say, you know, are you a buyer at this part of the cycle or not? That's how I see things anyway. 
If you're a trader, check out the deposit bonus to Bybit, or you can trade on Apex, which is Bybit's decentralized exchange. Crypto course linked down there as well. I'm James, it's Money to G. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.